On Facebook, I got quite a lot of questions about the car. So I wrote them down and I'm gonna answer each one of them, <laughs> or most of them. <laughs> Eric wanted to know, how do I like it? I really like it a lot. I've normally not been a big mid-engine fan, but this one's kind of getting me off the fence and uh, it's, it's just so smooth, that's the thing. It's so smooth and quiet and at 100 miles an hour, you would swear you were going 60. And I love that. So, and I like a lot more stuff, but overall, I like it. Let's see, David, an honest review. Okay, the good news is, is it's really fast for what it is. In other words, for a 495 horsepower car, it accelerates really well. They did good gear ratios. The eight-speed transmission shifts really, really fast, and I love that. Unlike the ZR1, which it took like three or 400 RPM for it to shift. It was like being in a minivan. A really fast minivan, but a minivan nonetheless. Um, what it needs is bigger tires. Um, you can feel a little bit of understeer even when you're going around corners. And I would like it if it had a little bit wider track if anybody from Chevrolet is listening for the next one. Uh, let's see, how does it compare to the C7? Robert Prilica, one of my students, former students. Um, it is, it's lighter, it's not as fast, it's more civil, and I like the ZR1 better because it's more nasty. <laughs> this, <laughs> the, the ZR1 likes to tear your head off and that's why I got it. This doesn't like to tear your head off, but it's still, it's got some power and it's got good pickup. So I like them both. If I had to choose, I'd choose the ZR1 over this just because of the feel and the power. All right, the next one, let's see. Robert F., will it do what you want it to do? If I throw enough money at this car, it will do anything I want it to do. Uh, let's see, Hennessy's already got a twin turbo kit. They're going to be making a, a C8, Z06, and ZR1. So eventually, yes. And they make a twin turbo kit for this right away. I haven't priced it yet, but they make it. Uh, let's see. Oh, Patricia wanted to know, can her daughter do driver's ed in this car? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Not right now, though. Let's see. Oh, were you able to choose the color? Yes, I ordered this car exactly the way I wanted it. So I was going to get yellow, but you had to wait 11 weeks, and I didn't want to wait 11 weeks. I was going to get blue. That was actually my first choice, but you had to wait 11 weeks. I looked at white. It looked okay I looked at black which I normally love but it was too much black I looked at red I'm not usually a red car guy and for only a thousand bucks more I could get orange so I ordered orange with the black accents and I've got black wheels in the garage uh, and I think it's gonna look really great and I've got lots of compliments on the orange and black so I did order it just the way I wanted it. Ron wanted to know on I-70, was that me? If it was in this car and it was kind of a guy that looked like me, it was, it was me. <laughs> I put a lot of miles on this car. <laughs> I wanted to get it broken in. John wanted to know what production number this is and it is 1140. So it's the 1140th that was produced and Gina asked did I know I have an addiction it's not an addiction until you have eight of them <laughs> this is only the fourth one and the reason I know that is I used to have eight solstices I went to a 12-step program now I'm down to six so it's working so thanks Gina and everybody else for your questions and we'll have more Thanks.